So as far as, I guess, you know, the, the, the Christian hip hop, um, the gospel rap or whatever, you know, they want to call it. I think my perspective, and as humbly as I say, I think I have a, a really good perspective because this is coming from somebody who wasn't really in it and uprooted in it. And so a lot of times people, you know, get offended by me, especially when I say, you know, I, I really don't know what that is or I don't really claim to be a part of that. First of all, for me, I feel like it's so fake. There's a lot of money in that industry. I feel like the fakest thing you can do is for me to come in and sign up and say, yeah, I'm a Christian rapper. And I had never said, I never did any of that. And now I'm finna make, cause it's like, like people don't realize how much money there is in that industry. So I was just like, you know, we was talking, it was like, man, we could come in and we can do this, this, this. I'm like, oh, that's fake, bro. Like, that's like the fakest thing you could do. Like, don't get me wrong, like the, the bag is there, but I was just like, so that, that was my first strike. I was like, okay, I'm not gonna do that. My next strike was, I didn't even know it was that big of a thing. Me personally, it was just like, okay, this is my story. Like I said earlier, I'm a preacher's kid. So I grew up in the church. I see different things. I, you know, learned different things, had different life experiences. So all I was doing was telling my truth in my music. The fact that Lecrae even hit me up was kind of, or, you know, reach in general was kind of surprising to me. Cause I'm like, I'm kind of radical. You know what I mean? I, I do stuff a little, I'm brash. And so when I kind of started looking at what they had going on, I was like, do I really fit this demographic per se? The other thing that's that's still weird to me to this day is I feel like the reason why that's such a thing is because the media demonized hip hop. And if you notice, because they demonized hip hop, they had to come in and say, oh, I'm a Christian rapper. And it's like, oh, I love Christian. I'm a Christian too. And then it's like, I'm finna bring you on in. It's like, that's fake as hell. There's a lot of Christians that do different things. And so it's like, you never, you never saw, you, you said it earlier, you never saw this with another religion. It's like, it's like, it's so, it's weird. It's, it just doesn't, it doesn't logically make sense to me. And so that threw me off and I'm still learning. I'm ignorant to a lot of stuff. I don't, you know, people probably gonna get mad in the comments like, well, why did he sign with Reach? I'm gonna be like, I signed with Reach because it's a record label. They offered me a very great deal. I went to business college. My lawyers looked at the deal. It was a great deal. They allowed me to keep my musical freedom. They allowed me to keep my publishing. I own my masters when I walk out my deal. Like I'm a businessman as well. So it's like all that other stuff kind of caught me off guard. And so every time we do something, I, you know, Welch, he'll be like, well, we got to see if that's okay. Can we, can we, can we do that? Can we drink that glass of Hennessy in the video? It's like, so uh, it's, it's a weird thing, but the most important thing to me is just my freedom. It's like, if I can't be myself, then I can't get with it. And Reach allowed me to be myself more than more than anything. So all the other, honestly, it's bullshit. A lot of stuff is bullshit. They don't want to say it. It is, though. But that's my opinion. It's not right or wrong. I hate, everybody's like, why you got to make this black and white? But I say that, honestly, you have to because it's just, it's there. If you notice, uh, I'm sure you watched the Def Jam 25th anniversary on Netflix, but Megan Good and her husband was there. He's a pastor, he preaches. He's enjoying himself at Def Jam. Nobody says anything. Let Lecrae would have been there. All hell would have broke loose. It doesn't, that's, that's, I don't get it. Like, and so to me, it, it's not about even Christianity. It's what is Christianity in America? So America's took, taken Christianity, which is a Middle Eastern religion, and has turned it into something that's really not what it's supposed to be and what God intended it to be. And I'm getting off, but you know, I, I don't know. I was just like, I, I can't fool with it. I can't fool with people telling me yes or no. Like, you're not my dad, you're not God, you didn't, you know what I'm saying? You don't know me, I, I can't tell, I can't deal. That's, you asked what I hate earlier? That's something else I hate. When people try and tell me what to do, what to talk about, how to dress. I used to hate, even my, my parents growing up, when they used to dress me up, they know me. They, they'll say, William hates when you try to tell him what to wear. We Family pictures, put on the, the red. I had to be the guy with the, with the collar up. Uh, just something to, to differentiate myself because I just don't like being put in that one spot. Like It's like a slave mentality. You do this and I don't know, I'm rambling, but that's how I feel. The thing about Lecrae that's interesting to me is I first saw Lecrae on BT. He did a cypher on the BT Hip Hop Awards. I think it was in 2009 or 10. Could have been 11, I'm not sure. When I'm watching him, I had heard his name before. I mean, I grew up in the church, but Lecrae got really popular in the, in the white church. And so in the black church, we knew who Lecrae was because he was so high on that pedestal. But at the same time, we didn't necessarily like just, I guess, embrace him. So when I watch BT and he comes on, 
And he's just spazzing and he's right in the mix with everybody. I said, yo, you can be a Christian and still, you can still do this? Like I had never seen that before. So that kind of motivated me. Like it's, it's always like the chance thing when he started working with Kurt Franklin, it's like the whole time you think you're the only person like you in the world. Then it's like, nah, bro, it's a big world out there. It's a lot of people that kind of share the same things as you. So seeing that, that representation of a black male figure dominating on BET with other rappers and still saying, yo, I'm a Christian, that kind of was like, oh, this is what this looks like. All the other rules that come with that, I don't really get. I don't understand that, you know, you said Diddy can walk in with a cross on it. It's like, it's just weird, man. I don't feel like it's a, it's a, I don't feel like it's an argument about religion. I feel like this is an argument about cultures. People would have a problem with Lecrae performing in a, in a white beater, but wouldn't have a problem with him performing in a tank. Does that make sense to you? No, but why do they have a problem with him performing in a white beater? Because white beater by the media has been demonized as the, the black thugs were white beaters. So he can't wear that. And that's the whole argument of that to me. When I, that, that one thing to me, just it's like, I can't fool with that. It doesn't make sense. It's not logical. Like, let's just stop. Forget your feelings. Let's look at the facts and sit here and tell me, how does this make sense? So if you look at, you know, Public Enemy and a lot of those guys coming up, they're Muslims. Nobody called them Muslim rappers. And then I think a lot of times too, I mean, I'm a Christian, but I feel like we put Christianity like we rule the world. Like I'm gonna claim Jesus and I'm gonna claim all that to, you know, that's what I believe in. But I'm not gonna disrespect, we don't have to disrespect somebody else because everybody's not from the same background or has the same beliefs as you. That's America too, that's what we fought for, democracy. You know, so it's like, I don't know, man. I, I just, I, it's a lot of stuff just don't make sense to me that I just can't agree with. Uh, you have Will Smith, first rapper to win a Grammy. Really no cursing in his music. Nobody called him anything. Nobody said nothing. Kanye West, 808s and Heartbreaks. Our project is clean. Not one curse word on the whole city. Nobody said anything to him. But Cray puts out a clean project. He's a Christian rapper. It doesn't make sense. It just, it doesn't quite make sense to me. But I didn't come up in the beginning of that. Like you told me you have some history in that. So you, even outside of this, we could probably talk and you can put me on, on, on game on some things or like, oh, this is an interesting perspective. But just from a young book, 24 years old, looking at it, I just like, I make dope music. I believe in Jesus. This is what I do. This is what I won't do. Take it. If you love me, I'm here. If you don't love me, guess what? It's an unfollow button. You can change the channel. Like why are you, you know, it's like people, people put too much energy into stuff that it shouldn't matter.